In 1959, Edward Ewer Jr. released his motion picture Plan 9 from Outer Space. At the time, it was deemed the worst film ever made. In 1980, the Golden Turkey Awards gave Ed Wood the worst director of all time title. Of course, he made other movies before Plan 9. He made 1953's Glenn or Glinda and 1955's Bride of the Monster. Both featured Bela Lugosi from 1931's Dracula. In 1994, Tim Burton directed a biopic of Ed Wood's life as a filmmaker. This is quite possibly my favorite biopic. It's not just because my favorite director did this film, it's for three other reasons. Ed Wood follows the true story of Edward D. Ward Jr., the man who is considered to be the previously said worst director. In the entire movie, we get to see how his films got to the point of being made while casting and befriending Bela Lugosi, who was washed up from acting at the time. Out of all the biopics, this happens to stand out as my personal favorite. Sure, my favorite director did do this film, but as I said, it's not the sole reason why I love this movie. Here are my real reasons why this is my favorite biopic. True story, when I was younger, I always wanted to be in movies. As I got older, I wanted to be a filmmaker. Knowing this flick is all about somebody making films feels right to me. I don't know if anyone agrees, but parts of the movie almost feels like you're watching a making of documentary. Plus the fact that the film shows scenes replicating actual movie settings is impressive. So yes, I do love that this is all about filmmaking. One of the things that stands out from watching Ed Wood is the choice of how it's presented. The whole movie is in black and white, similar to the classic film you get to see in that era. To me, this is a clever technique. I don't think the movie would work if it were in color. Let's talk about the acting for a bit. The late Martin Landau's interpretation of Bela Lugosi was so convincing. He won an Academy Award for his performance and rightfully deserved it. While it is about how Ed Wood made these not-so-great movies, deep down, it's more of a story about companionship. Before meeting Ed, Lugosi was washed up and practically had everyone thinking he was dead. Well, I thought he was dead. Isn't he dead? It's heartbreaking if you think about it. When they met, they share a bond. Regardless of how Ed does his movies, Bella stayed on his side. If that's not a real friend, I don't know what is. So there you go. Those are my three reasons why Ed Wood is my favorite biopic. Maybe if I want, I can share my reasons for Beetlejuice. I highly recommend you give Ed Wood a watch.